up, everybody? What's up, all my friends and family watching this video and hope, hopefully future clients watching this video? Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about how does down payment assistance programs work? And now there's a lot of confusion about these because um, it just isn't clear, right? And, and it is clear if we kind of go through it, but it's not normally clear if you were to go on the internet and try to find out exactly what it is per se. So anyway, so what I want to do is let's say you guys want to buy a house and you want to buy the home, but you don't have money saved for a down payment, right? And so credit scores are fine. Everything else is fine. You just don't have any money saved for a down payment, which which you wouldn't be alone in that case. Uh, a lot of people don't have money saved for a down payment. But what how the down payment assistance program works is Utah Housing allows us to borrow a certain amount of the our, our original loan amount in the form of a second mortgage to cover your down payment and if not all of them, most of your closing costs. So for example, let's say you bought a house, it was $160,000, right? You have a down payment because there technically is a 3.5% down down payment. And I'm just going to pull the math up because I'm not doing that on top of my head. And if you can, then you probably should come do my job. But uh, it's 3.5%, um, which would be 5600 bucks, right? So um, here it's $5,600. Actually, I'll put it here, $5,600. Now, the, that's a big misconception that Okay, since I'm doing a down payment assistance loan, uh, there's no down payment, and and that's not the case. A hundred percent financing is different than down payment assistance because in down payment assistance there still is a down payment, and so there's a fifty six hundred dollar down payment, and then you're gonna have some closing costs, closing costs, right? And let's just say that is, I mean, with this and this loan program is a little bit more expensive, but let's say five thousand. I don't know, just kind of an example. Now, what we do is this right here is ten thousand. 600 bucks that you would normally have to come up with if it wasn't for the down payment assistance option, right? Um, and now, again, sometimes these closing costs can get covered by the seller. Um, it just depends, right? But I don't want to get lost in that. But this allows us to give a second loan. Um, and what we can do, like I said, we can take the loan amount. So it would be $154,000 times 6%. We roughly about $9,200, right? So this is what we can borrow on the second loan because we can borrow 6%, right? We can borrow 6%, not of the purchase price, but of the loan amount. That's subtracting the down payment. So we can borrow this. Now, the, the benefit of this is... This is amortized over 30 years, this 9200 bucks, right? So what this does is this payment is a lot smaller because it being over 30 bucks or 30 years, you know, it could be anywhere from, you know, 50 to, of 50 to 60 bucks, right? A month. So what I typically say about this loan program, because we had the first loan and the second loan, I said, it's kind of like the Uber Eats or the Postmates of loans because... If you're at home watching Netflix and, and and you're in the middle of season two of watching you, right? And um, you don't want to get up and you want to leave the house and it's cold outside, whatever the reason is, and you want to order some some Benjas and you want Pad Thai to come to you, you pay for, you know, you, you're willing to pay for Postmates. And But what happens is you will pay a 10 to $15 premium just to have someone bring that food to you directly. Now, sometimes that food is worth it. Maybe that 10, 15 bucks is worth it to you so you don't have to leave your house. But sometimes you don't have that 10 to $15 and you don't have that convenience, right? Um, but that convenience is more expensive. But the convenience in this case, rather than coming in with $10,600, the convenience is only paying $50 to $60 a month. Now, most of us can justify that makes sense, right? You're like, okay, even if I had 10,000 bucks in my account, like, do I want to actually put that towards this house? And in most cases, it does make sense too. But I'm just saying that here's a uh, here's an argument to be made. Um, so uh, this 50 to $60 being uh, worth it to you so that you don't have to come up with this money down. But like I said, there is two loans. This is kind of the biggest misconception. This is kind of a very 
uh, rough view of how we calculate it. But um, if you guys have any questions about any down payment assistance loans, we do like doing them. Um, and I don't want to hope I didn't scare you guys away by showing you any of this, but it's good to know. Again, transparency of communication is what we kind of build our business on. So if you guys have any questions, you want to contact me directly, you can at 435-680-1513. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.